inverted this blower and I found some paperwork online but the paperwork says that this 2E which it also has if I can get to come out also says on the plate there 2E from Buffalo Forge Company the Buffalo Electric Motor and you can't make it out but the bottom it says don't use lard oil or heavy oil and some other stuff use thin mineral oil uh, I took it apart and I cleaned it up uh, the ball bearings are still using but man they're in bad shape but I don't know if I can find replacement parts for this thing it's got to be I think the catalog I looked at was from the 1920s or 30s but the part I don't understand it says on the plate and also says in the catalog and I'll try to get the catalog to show up it says we'll operate on either direct current or alternating current and it says alternating current 25 40 50 or 60 cycles and in the paperwork it said for direct current it can run on 110 or 220 now I'm not an electrician I didn't know you could have 110 and 220 direct current so I don't know what it is but the but in the original catalog where I found it um, I'll try to take a picture and put on with this it said that um, it came with a regulator a six-speed regulator to regulate the motor so I'm not sure how it regulates the motor I've had the thing all apart this is how I got it broken switch this is a book I picked up on eBay by the looks of it looks like it was a 1921 maybe 9 for September 1921 it was listed as a 1921 book on eBay about my motors and it has a little bit of information on the uh, on the electric motors this is a little different than mine but it says um, that this one says it says 110 or 220 volts DC direct current motors and 110 or 220 volt single phase 60 cycle alternating current motors uh, but that's a little different from mine I thought this was neat though they can buy a air blast gate made of cast iron with a heavy stainless steel um, sliding door for your blast units and mine would be I guess a three inch and it would have cost a dollar fifty <laughs> so but they get some pretty expensive ones but you're getting up into thirty something inch now this is a different um, PDF file I found and it talks about the variable speeds and it says here they operate on any 110 or 220 volt direct current or DC or 25, 40, 50, or 60 cycle single phase um, alternating current. And that's what it says on my plaque. And like I said, I have that same model. <clears throat> but I don't know how to hook it up. So I'll go back to the video I had and just wanted to show these how these things were used back in the day sorry about the fluttering it's just filming a screen on my computer so it does run and i'm going to try to plug it up so i'm going to get a little shaky here because i'm trying to hold a camera with one hand and plug this up with the other turn it back off <clears throat> I don't even know if I can find anybody that can work on this I took it all apart I didn't take the bearings out they're ball bearings and they probably need replacing I cleaned all that goop that was in there 
out but um, anyway what I'm trying to figure out is uh, how to make this work I've got a champion 400 that I'm using crank blower from a coal forge and I really like to hook this one up so I can use either one and I'm gonna make a diversion box diverting box to do it but if you got any idea, if you're an electrician at all, and you have any idea what they meant by direct current, 110, 220, 25, whatever it was, 25, 40, 50, or 60 cycles, I don't understand how it can work direct current or alternating current, but I don't know anything about it. And the fact that it came with a regulator, they call it a regulator, I'm guessing it's some kind of rheostat. Um, I just don't know, have a clue. But I like to restore it. I'm gonna get rid of all this junk that came on it. I mean, that's just worthless. So anyway, this is a pretty neat find. And uh, I like to get it restored and use it if possible. But I don't want to tear it up either and burn up the motor. So we'll see. Thanks, talk to you later. And thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, like it and please comment, especially if you know anything about it or can point me in the right direction. Um, thanks. Bye.